Que viene el gran chingón, el mero mero. Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. I need a shave, so I'm gonna do the shave video here with this new soap that I'm excited for because uh, it's a new release from No Water. This will, I'm a little late to the party, but uh, here we go. This is Neon Sun. If you can see that label there. From No Water. Cody and his wife, I forgot her wife's name, his wife's name. But it's a husband and wife team that makes soaps out of uh, Houston, Texas. <laughs> and uh, this is a great base right here. One of my favorite bases. And uh, this is a new scent. This is like an 80s theme. Uh, the uh, presentation for the label and what the scent's about. It's supposed to be like an old school uh, scent. And this is a uh, considered a barbershop scent, like in the 80s era. Scent notar, lime, bergamot, oak moss, patchouli, and musk. And what I get here is a very, uh, like, mid to uh, soft, like around the three and a half, maybe four range scented strength. It's not very uh, pungent. It's a... Uh, it's pleasant, I would say. I would say like a three, three and a half, four cent strength. It's the best that I can tell you from what I get when I smell it off the puck. And this is a nice scent right here. I believe that it's a great scent. In my opinion, this scent here hasn't been getting a lot of love. To be honest, I've been uh, looking at the, all the forums and the posts and everything, and there's a lot of... Uh, People not digging the scent, but I dig it and I think it's a great one. What I get here when I smell it, it's a very light lemon scent. And I do get uh, a little bit of floral, not very much, but then it dries down to a powdery musky scent. That's what I get from it have used it once this is used already i used it last week this is my second time using it i just wanted to get to a, a vibe for the scent and uh i enjoyed it throughout my whole shave and uh getting ready to use it today <laughs> got a new strop very beautiful strop here from uh west coast shaving has a, a very nice leather and uh very nice buckles And it has the uh, West Coast Shaving emblem in there. West Coast Shaving is an online uh, shave store where you can buy uh, about everything you need. Very nice drop. I really appreciate it for this right here. has uh, linen on the back, very soft. And this drop's great. I just dropped my razor with it. And I'm happy to have it in my den. <laughs> All right, I got my brush here soaking. My Dark Sanctum mug here. As you can see, it says Dark Sanctum. This is a very nice mug that soaks your knot. And I have the water level to like right here, right uh, right under the, uh, the plug so it won't damage your knot. And uh, Dark Sanctum sells these on his website. We put in the description down below, just in case you're interested. It comes with this uh, nice lid here. And it fits up to 33 millimeter uh, knots. All the way from, I believe, from 24 to 30, 33 millim 24 millimeter to all the way to 30, 30 millimeter knots. <laughs> the brush I'm gonna be using today will be a uh, Viking shaving brush from my man, Andrew. He makes beautiful brushes. This is a matte white color. 
and uh, very nice shape very nice weight to it feels great in the hand it has a very nice badger knot his badger knot Odin's beard knot fan knot on there that's his uh, logo I like this brush all right let's put this aside hope everyone's doing well and thank you for uh, coming by I really appreciate your support get the shave started here i'm gonna be dipping my uh just the tips of my uh brush i'm just gonna start the load now this is the Viet virgin three base and no waters uh soap base and it's a great great base i enjoy using it i get happy shades every time i use no water this is a i believe a summer release which is not summer no more but this is supposed to remind you of uh, the 80s, which I do love 80s music. It's one of my favorite music that I like to enjoy you, uh, hearing, listening to. It's developing into a very nice creamy lather. As always, I expected with no water. I'm dripping here because uh does not holds a lot of water. I thought I took all the water out, but I guess I didn't. But I got a very nice load there already. Don't need to take to uh, load this very much on your brush. I say a 15 minute, uh, 15 minutes, excuse me, 50 second load would be enough. Let's get the suds here. It's kind of runny because I uh, used too much water. But I like the scent here. I like it very much. I prefer this scent here to uh, Bar Bar. And what I mean by that is, I like Bar Bar. It's just got this spicy note that I don't know. It's a good barbershop scent. But I prefer this scent here to Bar Bar. You all might not agree, but like we all... We all have different sniffers, and uh, that's my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. I just find this scent very classic, and I enjoy it. Let's start the leather on my face. I got about seven days growth. dripping here everywhere <laughs> leather is dripping on the floor smells great scent strength, scent strength did pick up when wet wetting it with lather I mean with water so I would say it's about a five cent strength now Beautiful tree. Dense suds when you uh, use no water. That's what I get when I lather it. smells great to me I got a lot of suds here the brush is caked Hold on, give me a second while I uh, push my towel over here Lather everywhere. <laughs> Look at that. I, was, I told you it was flinging everywhere. It's like I'm bathed, bathed in lather. I'm going to be using my uh, Max Brecker here. 8 8 uh, Barber's Notch. Quarter hollow. 
blue power scales made from Max Max Brecker from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a little smudgy, but uh, let's start the shave. No water, neon sun. Once again, here's the label. Here's a uh, side label. It's, it's uh, drenched with leather, leather. But it's a very nice leather. I love Noble Otter's uh, packaging. They always have fantastic packaging. All right, let's get the shave started. Seven days of growth on my face. Very dense and creamy. I don't know what else to uh, say or how to say it, but that's what I get when uh, I use no water. Slim luxury base in my in my opinion. Very soothing to the face. Let me wipe this down before it bloops. <laughs> A lot of growth. And today is 9-11, so a uh, minute of a silence for those that uh, lives were lost on 9-11 in New York. More in the silence. Thank you to those uh, first responders for uh, responding to uh, the 9-11 to help everyone that was uh, needed help. God bless their lives and their souls. Amen. Once again, beautiful leather from the water and the scent. I like it a lot. Like I was mentioning, not a lot of, I'm not going to mention any names, but I'm just letting you know this scent wasn't very uh, taken well from a lot of wet shavers. But I enjoy it. And I'm glad Cody made the scent here and I'm happy with it. We all have different opinions, and of course mine is different. I'm keeping it chingon 100%. You all know me, I keep it chingon. I'm telling you my honest opinion, how I feel about the soap, and that's what I feel about the soap. All right, let's get a rinse. I've, once again, I forgot my uh, bowl over there, so I'm gonna be using my uh, mug here to catch. Feels great though. No water has fantastic post shave feel. My face is ner very nourished and hydrated right now what I feel.
took that week's growth off. Seven days growth off. I shaved uh, last Saturday, I believe. <laughs> All right, pass two with my brush here. Got plenty of lather. Smells, to me, fantastic. I like this scent so much that I would like to purchase another set because I don't know how long uh, Cody will have this around. I think it could be a limited edition. I didn't read up so much about it. I should have. But right now, as of right now, I don't know. But I will put the update information in my description down below. If it's a limited edition scent. And let me wet this one more time. Don't really need to, but uh, just doing it. Got plenty of lather here for another pass on my brush. Mm, plenty of lather. That knot's awesome. I love it. All right, pass two here with my beautiful razor. This is the most expensive razor that I own. It's hard to get a Max Breaker because uh, they're expensive. I've been wanting another one, but due to they're really too expensive for me. And uh, the only way I would be able to uh, get me another one is if I save up for it. But Max Breaker, some Max Breaker razors, they shave like a dream. And um, what I mean by that is they shave very close. Max, max Edge is fantastic. I would say, and uh, Hold on, give me a second here while I don't want to cut myself here. second while I finish this my pass up and then I'll, I'll talk The video's gonna cut off right now because I didn't erase the other video, so I'll be back as soon as this closes out. But look at that. Once again, hope you can see that shininess that the soap provides. It's pretty awesome. I love noble water. Um, one of my top five uh, bases for me. And that's the absolute truth. <laughs> Oh, I felt great. It smells fantastic. This is my type of scent. I love powdery scents. And this is a citrusy, little floral, powdery, musky scent. That's what I get when I smell it. Very light lime, but the floral and the powdery back. The uh, video cut off, but I uh, got a couple minutes, so I would like to finish off what I was saying. The scent's very nice. It uh, All those scent notes bring the scent. Uh, together 
to smell fantastic and this is what this soap is in my opinion it smells classic in my opinion and uh, i like it very much once again <laughs> i didn't need to go over some uh areas right here so i'm going to be applying a little bit of lather always have to touch up my neck here because sometimes uh the razor doesn't catch it all I don't know if Cody will be able to see this. He has watched some of my videos before. But if you get to see this, Cody, thank you very much for making this scent here. I enjoy it very much, and uh, it's a great scent. Fantastic residual. My razor is just gliding through. Well, no issues. Fantastic. All right, let's get a final uh, rinse here. That felt fantastic. I like the scent. And I say it so many times because it's true. It wasn't very light, but I do like it. And I hope others do too. Hope I'm not the only one. But this shade was with Neon Sun from No Water. I like the scent and uh, I'm ready to buy it back up because I don't know when this is gonna uh, cancel and no longer be made, but I am gonna buy me another backup. Best believe that. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate the support. Y'all are very awesome and thank you for sticking by and uh, continuing to watch my videos here and uh, I know I don't produce a lot of videos as much as I used to, but I try my best and uh, I try my best. <laughs> mm, it smells lovely. The, the aftershave, the aftershave it smells lovely and I enjoy it as well. Set ingredients for the, uh, I mean, ingredients for the aftershave very nourishing, very hydrating when you apply. It soaks up really easy, really, really fast. And uh, damn, that scent's awesome. And yeah, great skin food from the aftershave. I like the packaging No Barber provi provides. It's pretty awesome. You guys, there are uh, some, I think those are Viper glasses, I believe. <laughs> They have very big lens, and he's just there chilling, you know, I, I, I guess just looking up to a sun, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what exactly he's looking at, but he looks pretty cool there. Pink is not my color, um, but I like the purples and the, pur the purples and the blues and the whites. So I just decided to use my white Viking brush here, which uh, felt very nice. Great brush. I love that brush. And my Max Brecker always gives me fantastic shapes. Always. 8-8 eight, eight, Barber's Notch. Quarter Hollow, Blue Power Scales. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. All I can say is uh, this scent was awesome to me, and I enjoyed it. I just wanted to uh, use it one time and then come on video and use it again, and my thoughts didn't change. Take care, everyone, and uh, have a happy Saturday. Bless you on your families and thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Take care.